All right, everybody, good morning. Uh, today we're going to be going over solve one step addition and subtraction equations. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and add to this word problems uh, because that's exactly what they are the word problems and distinguish in the homework problems. Okay, that won't be on your sheet, it's just on my sheet. And like I said, I just wanted you guys to be uh, aware of the different sheets that I'm giving you. So I just wanted to label this on here so there wouldn't be any confusion. All right, uh, it says animals for exercise one through four, use the table. So we're gonna use this for uh, exercise one through four. The average lifespan of several different type of animals are shown on the tables. We got a black bear with a lifespan of 18 years, a dog, uh, 12 years, giraffe, 10 years, a gray squirrel, 10 years, a guinea pig, 4 years, a puma, I guess we don't know what that is, a tiger, 16 years, and a zebra, also unknown. Hmm. All right, well, let's see what they give us to work with. The lifespan of a black bear is 3 years, longer than the lifespan of a zebra. Okay, I'm starting to see why they left these empty. These are going to be where our variables go. Uh, so the lifespan of a black bear is three years longer than the lifespan of a zebra. Write an addition equation that you could use to find the lifespan of a zebra. Okay. Well, if I was going to find the lifespan of a zebra, uh, I'd realize first I need to take the black bear and then uh, add three to it. Or I could take the lifespan of a zebra uh, when a black bear is three years longer, um, okay, so I would have to take the, my black bear is 18 years, right, because this is longer, uh, so I would write 18 for my black bear is equal to uh, my zebra, uh, let's see, plus three more years. Right, because since it's longer, I could have put uh, 18 minus 3, but uh, I think it would be more accurate to say that this uh, the black bear right here, uh, 3 years longer than uh, the lifespan of a zebra. Longer than life, yeah, so that would be z equals Three, three, uh, z plus 3, excuse me, equals 18. Uh, and if we were to find the lifespan of a zebra, then I would say that I had to take away 3 from this side, take away 3 from this side, right? Whatever I do from one side, I do the other. And then that would tell me that the lifespan of a zebra is actually 15 years. See how we did that? Okay, the bear was 18 and uh, the zebra will equal 15. All right, uh, how about number two? Let's try that one. Solve the equation you wrote in exercise one. What is the lifespan of a zebra? The lifespan of a zebra. Okay, well, we just solved that, didn't we? Uh, so 15 years. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and do number three. So the lifespan of a guinea pig is eight years, eight years shorter than the lifespan of a puma. So let's see, we don't know what the lifespan of a puma is, but we do know what the lifespan of a guinea pig is. Uh, that's four years. Okay, so we could put four on one side equals. And since uh, it's shorter, shorter than the lifespan of a puma, I can put the letter P for puma. And since it's shorter, I would put negative eight over here. Okay. Um, and then let's see, uh, I'm guessing number four is gonna ask us for the answer again. Solve the equation you wrote in exercise three, there we go. So if I did that, um, I would be adding 8 to this side. Remember, we want our 
variable alone, so we got to get rid of our number. Uh, so I'll subtract negative 8 or combine negative 8 with the only number that will make it go away, and that's positive 8. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other side. And that's going to give me uh, 12. Let's see if that worked out. I believe it should work out because if it's saying the guinea pig is eight years shorter, that means the puma is eight years uh, more. Okay, so the puma is 12 years uh, and the guinea pig is four years and that works out. So uh, going with uh, 12 years here for the lifespan of a puma. All right, let's go to number five. <clears throat> and before we finish this, uh, since I'm going to be doing all of them except the last one, uh, I'm going to go ahead and be uh, generous today. I'm going to do all of them except the last one because I want you guys to try to figure that one out. Now that I'm showing these, these are different examples. Technology. A survey of teens showed that teens in Pittsburgh aged 12 through 17 spend 15.8 hours per week online, okay? Teens in Miami and Fort Lauderdale spend 14.2 hours per week online. Write and solve an equation, an addition equation, to find the difference in time spent online by teens in these cities, okay? Uh, the difference. Uh, well, if I'm writing one in addition, uh, that means they want the addition sign in there. And that's the thing you have to remember when you're setting these things up. Over here, it said longer. And the minute they said longer, we know it's going to be more. So I had to use addition. Over here, uh, and, and I believe they said write an addition problem, write an addition equation, see? So that told me I had to use a plus sign in there. And over here, they told me to write a subtraction equation, which is why I had to use a, a negative sign, a minus sign in there. And now they're saying, once again, write an addition equation and find the difference. Uh, okay. So that means I have to use the addition sign. Uh, to do that, first of all, let's remember that these are uh, our categories. Uh, teens in Pittsburgh, age 12 through 17, and teens in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, of the same age, okay? These are not the numbers I want to use. The numbers they're asking me for, right? The difference in time spent online. So the information I actually want to use in my problem is 15.8 hours, right? And 14.2 hours, okay? These are the two numbers I want to use out of my information that they've given me. So if I do this, I know the bigger ones here. And since I'm using addition, I want to put that bigger one over here. 15.8. Okay. The reason I want to put it there is since I'm going to find the difference, I know I'm going to subtract later on. And I'd rather subtract my little, my big number from my small one. Okay, so uh, this is going to equal uh, the difference, they said. Remember, the difference. And they said addition, right? Difference plus 14.2. You see that? Uh, find the difference in time spent. So now I've created my, prop, my equation, excuse me, uh, and now I can solve it. Once again, I have to find the difference. So I'm going to take a D and try to get it by itself. That requires me to take negative 14.2. And uh, to get rid of it on this side and make it zero. So I'll have D all by itself. And whatever I've done on one side, of course, I have to do the other side. So I'll take a negative 14.2. And if I do that, I see that I have, uh, let's see, this is going to be 6. This is going to be 1. That's 1. 1.6 is my difference, right? Uh, I'm fairly sure that that is correct. 
six, yes, hours, hours. So we want to use our units of measure, so that's 1.6 hours per week. All right. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, Mr. Mendez did not do that correctly. There we go, week, sorry. And let's go to number six, since this is obviously not going to ask us to solve number five. So you're lucky tonight I'm doing all of them for you. I just want you to get a clear understanding of how to write these down and what you're looking for when you write them down. Uh, sports. Uh, Anika Sorenstam won the 2006 MasterCard Classic with a final score of eight under par. Looks like we're talking about a golf game. Uh, or negative eight. Her score for the first two of the three rounds were negative five and negative one. What was Serena's score for the third round? Okay, well, uh, let's see, for the third round, what kind of looks like we're looking at uh, negative eight. Okay. Uh, what was score for the third round? I'm thinking that we have to go ahead and find the difference again. We're finding the difference. Uh, and let's see, we've got negative one and negative eight. Let's see, uh, that's negative one, or excuse me, and negative five. And I think that's our equation. So if I do that, I have negative eight. Uh, equals the difference of negative six, right? Because negative one combined with negative five would be negative six. It's like I borrow one dollar and then I borrow five more, I owe six. Now, uh, once I do this, I realize that I uh, need to go ahead and add. Okay, I'm going to, uh, well, that, these are actual numbers and not negative numbers, though, aren't they? Uh, Let's see how this all works out. This is plus six. So I'll have to add six over here. Uh, so this is going to be negative two equals is the difference, is the difference. So uh, I guess the answer is negative two. Negative two, uh, what was this, uh, the score? Oh, okay. So under par, she was uh, two under par two under par, that's so what they say is negative eight, is eight under par, so this would be two under par, would be the third round. And uh, that would be our answer. All right, so uh, hope you guys have a good weekend, uh, and uh, I guess I'll see you Friday. All right. Have a great time.